We are staying at the ranch for 48 hours outside in a hot tent in the winter with no food. We're going deep. We are on the top of a mountain right now. You can walk around in here, dude. Got him. <laughs> we got two squirrels, baby. That's dinner. How'd you sleep over there? Not good at all. I had to get up every two hours. I'll put hair on your chest there, son. See you later, buddy. Who's bite proof? Awesome bite proof, you think? Low key fire. Right, here we go. Ooh. Lati da, folks. Never fell asleep, but it felt good just to just to relax. I feel like we've been on the go this whole trip, but now it's time. The sun is up. It's headed down. It's actually pretty warm. Barely see your breath. I think it's probably. I'm guessing it's probably what low 30s. Yeah, 35. Right? It ain't too bad. It's gonna be. It's gonna get cold once it gets dark. We don't know how long we're gonna be out there, but we're freaking. We're suited up. We're gonna jump on the four wheelers. Hopefully get us a deer. Stay tuned. All right, if I was a deer and wanted to go out, which one would I use? The old trusty 6.5. All right. Load her up. I saw a mouse. What the hell? Go. All right, dear, we're coming for you. park it here and walk there's a chance we'll see one when we're walking so the further we stay back higher the probability we see one but I don't I doubt they're out in the food yet especially with being kind of warm and sunny I bet they're gonna be a little bit later but you go with this yep. I think we walk up the hill we might see one so I figured maybe stop down here and yeah. give us a shot at shooting one across the clearing if we can one standing up there. yeah safe we're ready to rock there you go all right. That's a bush, we're good. Get to hike in here. No, I didn't see a single deer, which is a good and a bad thing. All right, let's see what happens.
She's down. She's down. <laughs> she's down, Smoked baby. Her. She's, she's her. freaking down. <gasps> she went like two yards. Dude, she's uh, Dude. Dude. right there. Let's go. Yes. Oh my God. Dude, they were about to blow. Dude, yeah, they were. She was just standing there. She's dead right there. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God. Let's go, dude. We can survive for a month now. <laughs> yeah, we got we got dinner. We got hella dinner, boys. Dude, they were a second away from blowing. Yeah. They were onto Did us. Did you see bro. the other ones that walked? Yeah, in? there's two they more on the closer, right. Closer, and they were like not about it either. They looked right at us immediately. <sighs> oh, thank you, Lord. She's down right there too. Yeah, she's dead. I can see. Oh, her. no tracking needed. No, go get the four yes! wheelers. Yes. We freaking did it. We should have shot a deer. We just shot a deer. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, I thought I was gonna go hungry. Oh, we're gonna be eating good now. We gonna be eating real freaking good. You have steaks? Yo, steaks, baby. Oh, big mama is down. Yes. I can't believe we pulled that off. No, me neither. Dude, we just need the elevation. That's yeah. it, dude. You literally see the sun behind you. It's like almost did go behind the hill. Like maybe an hour left. And then we I can't believe they got on us, dude. Dude, she. when I looked over your shoulder, yeah. we couldn't move. So we couldn't yeah. record anything. I could, yeah, when so by, I looked, the time, by the time I hit the camera. So, yeah, I was going to say, you, you're saying that they yeah. came from here. Dude, that doe was literally standing right, right there on that trail. Yeah. Like five yards from yeah. me. I looked over your shoulder and just saw her back. And I was like, yeah. oh, my goodness. And they got onto us and left. They came through here to, to go feed, and they smelled us. Somehow, even the wind was, we had the wind perfect. Well, then they ended up flanking us, just like the freaking freak did, dude. Mm -hmm. It was, dude, I, deja, I looked over my shoulder. Yeah. Deja vu. I see a deer right there in that opening. That's where we first ever saw the freak. And I was like, I can swing the gun and put it not on your shoulder, but on the back, basically on, on the, the back chair, side, yeah. as long as you can film it. And you're like, yeah, I can get it. So turned, just freaking smoked her, dude. She, I mean, she ran right into the tree, drop, tumbled her way back, lights out. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go see big mama. I'm telling you, that's the biggest doe I've seen in a long time, boys. There was one really big one at my house. This one might be close. That's a absolute tanker. So we're gonna try. We'll see if we can get her to stay up there. Rest up there. We got a couple bungees and stuff, but we if this doesn't work, we can go back and get a sled and drag her. But this would be a lot faster. And as you can tell, it's starting to get dark. So we want to get back before dark so we can skin her in the daylight. That'd be ideal. And before it gets too cold. So let's see if we can get her loaded up. Shoo! She is loaded up. Got her strapped down. All of you lead. I can follow you and keep an eye on it in case she starts getting squirrely. But we got dinner, boys. We are headed back with a deer cookup. I'm very excited. It's going to taste a lot better than the raccoon for lunch. I can tell you that much. back to base look at that she made it dinner made it back the tent is still intact and we're losing light quickly now you can see the sun starting to go down so we're going to give it a quick gut job uh if you guys want to see us gut it as you guys know at this point it's on uncut that's where all that gutting and the cleaning and stuff happens so we're gonna get her gutted up we're gonna pull them tendies and we've got stuff to make a delicious steak dinner Stuff is in garlic butter and duck seasoning. That's it, because we didn't bring anything else. But the tendies are going to taste phenomenal, especially in comparison to the raccoon. So we're going to gut it, pop them tendies out, and get the fire going, because we got steak for dinner. 
stay tuned. Tendies, baby. Tendies. Well, they're not gonna cook themselves, so <laughs> you guessed it. Your boy gets to split some more frickin' wood. So our fire is completely, completely out. We got nothing left, so yeah, you can see your breath in here. It's, it's starting to get cold, boys. We probably got 30 minutes before it's gonna be dark, dark. So I'm gonna try to get split in here. Your boy's getting good at splitting, buddy. Really? Oh, God, yeah, I'm getting dialed. Man, am I excited for this deer? Holy smokes. That is gonna taste amazing. Freaking amazing. A couple starter logs in there. Good lord. That's a long dong there, buddy. Oh yeah, she'll fit. Fit real nice. Oh shoot, hang on, look out, that's not where I wanted it, but maybe it'll work. <coughs> Match came flying back at me, so. Really? Oh, where'd that go? Oh. There you go, Junior. All right, I'm gonna shut this, open the, open the vent here, maybe. One match Willie all of a sudden, huh? Really? Just took Is that two in a row just with took, one match? Just took two days to figure it out. <laughs> you just got to have patience and chop little pieces, teeny pieces of wood smaller than you would think. I feel like we just figured some nice out grass. how to make fire. Just killed a deer. Like, yeah. I feel like we could make it another month now. We're all on the top of the world right now. We Until can... we run out of matches. Got another one. How do you keep going? Golly, doing son. That's it, boys. Full-blown fire. Check this out. Sheep! One match, Willie. All right. Now we got to get the old cooker going here. May or may not have a little barbecue, but she'll cook right out. Bam! We got meat. But this is also what we're thinking. This is heart. Chopped up the heart into little itty bitty pizzas. Yes, you can eat a deer heart, believe it or not. It's freaking delicious. But similar to the raccoon, we're not, well, I would say similar because we don't need a ration the deer, but. We also don't need to like fully cape the deer and start, you know, nibbling on the back strap. It's not really necessary, especially since we've only got, as of right now, we got to be here for what, 12, 12 more hours? Yeah. Through the morning. So we're thinking deer heart tacos. Breakfast tacos. There's really nothing breakfast about it. We're just eating it for breakfast. There's no eggs because uh, we didn't bring anything like that. So anyways, I want to show you guys that. We're gonna let that soak over here. Once I'm done with this Ziploc, since I only have one more Ziploc left, we will swap it. But this is this is the tenderloins. We got two of them, so Jake and I each can get a tenderloin. That way our bellies are gonna be nice and full. Look at that bad boy! Sheesh! This is like this is like fancy restaurant. We're about to chef this sucker up. We got garlic butter, ducks all meat. I mean, those look like when you go to Texas Roadhouse and you pick your steaks out the window. Mm -hmm. That's what that sucker looks like right there. Looking fantastic. All right, set this guy down here, and we're gonna get. Seasoned up, we got ducks all meat. This is what we were rationing. Remember the whole time we were rationing ducks all meat? This is why. Because we were really hoping to have a nice steak dinner, basically to round out 
our trip here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the deal there, boys. Season her up nice, give her the old flip. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, they're seasoned. Now, I think we can only cook one at a time. Our pot, or pan for that matter, isn't really all that big. So, well, we've got Land of Lakes. This is garlic and herb butter. You guys are really missing out if you haven't tried this on steaks. I got this specifically thinking, man, if we get something, we want to make a nice steak out of it. This would be this would be what I would want. Let me grab a nice dirty barbecue knife because that's actually let's, this is a nice dinner. Let's get our let's get hand me that. Let me let's get our fancy cutlery out. This is like when you bring, your mom brings out the fine china for Thanksgiving. This is this is all the good stuff. I mean, this is like real, actual. Oh yeah, that's a nice spoon. Hang on, let me see. Oh, we have literal steak knives. Literal steak knives. We're bringing out the nice. Look at that. Bam! Just for the special occasion to celebrate the deer harvest. Bam. We're gonna have real cutlery for tonight's feast. Alright, so now take this butter. We're gonna go put it on this pan here. Pan should be nice and hot. Take that butter. Oh, yep, I'd say she's freaking hot. Holy smokes. Get her nice and doing one of these numbers. Oh, hang on. We got the lid's about to go down. There I got you. you got it? There you go. Pull her back. I didn't realize that thing was off. All right. Take one of these tendies. Pop her in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be amazing. And get her nice and seared up. Get that garlic and herb in there. This is going to be fantastic. We're going to cook probably, as it each side, about two minutes. Take it off, let it rest, and hoping for a nice medium rare. That garlic flavor, the ducks all meat. This should. I don't know, that squirrel last night was tough. Tough to beat. This is going to be up there. This might be the best meal that we make. All shrimp. You guys stay tuned. Shoo. Well, boys, we did bring tin foil. So what I did was I cooked them, threw a little bit more of that garlic butter in there, and let them rest. Keeps all the juices inside. We found some better knives, too. All right. Cutting this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. She. It probably looks. Does it look more done than? It actually is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's done. She's done. Done. Oh, we yeah. wanted to make sure she was done. Done. We let them rest for a little bit. She's still gonna be. She's still gonna be pretty tender. Mmm. Dude. That flavor. That all meat on there and that butter. Dude. I'll say, maybe it's a touch overcooked, but it's not, it's not bad. I mean, the flavor is amazing, dude. Oh, yeah. That, that piece melted right there. Oh, my God. Wow. That don't taste like surviving. That's thriving, ladies and gentlemen. That is so freaking good. You eat a steak dinner in the woods. <laughs> steak dinner from a deer that was shot two hours ago. Inside of a hot tent when it's 22 degrees outside. Oh mm, my gosh. That is fantastic. You hear them coyotes? Them are close. Yeah, them are, they're coming <laughs> for the old deer. They can't have any. This no, this is, this is the good stuff. Dude, that's good. That garlic butter will change your life. That butter. It yeah. just, it makes it taste like you put a lot more into it than you really did. It really does. Like, you it can just... take that tub of butter to the woods. Yeah, that's all you need. That and small meat, and you'd be meat, all right. Butter. It just, it has, because it's got herbs and garlic, so it just, it tastes like you just threw all sorts of thyme and garlic cloves, and it tastes like you did, you threw a bunch in it. In reality, it's pretty simple. Two ingredients, 
phenomenal. That's that's thriving. That ain't surviving. That's amazing. So good. Well, we are going to uh, enjoy our steak dinner here. Get some nice, legit, solid protein in our belly. It's going to be fantastic. And then uh, we'll probably call it a night. These coyotes are freaking... Dude, they're getting after it over here. I hear them from both sides. Yeah. We got the gas, though. We're, we'll be all right. We're, we're strapped. We're strapped in case they get a little too close. We'll make sure they don't get our deer. And like I said, we've got heart for breakfast. We do need to kind of get up and out out of here early. Um, but I would say, like, I think we earned it. I think we earned the – we don't have to hunt in the morning. I mean, we shot two squirrels, mm -hmm. trapped a raccoon, trapped a possum, let him go, and shot a deer in a matter of 36 – 36, really? 36, mm -hmm. yeah. 36 hours. So we're going to enjoy ourselves tomorrow. We're not going to wake up in stress, and there's also no reason to hunt anything. We have more meat than we could possibly even we eat. We have half a raccoon left over. Yeah, we have half a raccoon. Yeah, a we had an entire deer. I don't want to harvest any more game than I actually need to consume for this challenge. So we're going to treat ourselves in the morning. We're going to treat ourselves. We're going to wake up early. It'll probably still be dark out because, like I said, we want to want to try to get an early start on it. It's going to take a while to kind of pack all this up. And we're going to have some nice deer heart tacos, which you've never had before. Some McCafe coffee and have breakfast of champion. So we're going to eat this steak and get on our jammies, crawl on our sleep sacks here, and, uh, well, go to sleep. Stay tuned. Shee! Look at all that in there, boys. We got a mound of coals and logs. I just threw a freshie. Here's my stockpile for the evening right here. Ready to go. Easy access. This thing's open. That's, I was wondering why it's so smoky in here. Now that it's ripping, I'm going to close this just a little bit. I really don't want it to burn through it super fast. That way I don't have to get up as early. Look at the spread we got over here. We got breakfast ready. Like I said, we're going to try to get up and get out quick. So we're going to have everything prepped. We've got our French press, coffee mugs, mid cafe. This is the heart, which we will set outside so it stays cool. Um, and we've got tortillas, salsa, and a little bit of cheese for our deer heart tacos. So it's time for bed. Oh, yeah, I'll give you guys a quick time check here. It is 9.54 p.m., a.k.a. my bedtime. So it's actually a lot warmer tonight than it was last night. Like, I wouldn't say a lot. It's like five degrees warmer, I would say. So I'm going to try no vest. I'll leave it right here so it's nice close by. And, uh, oh, hang on. I almost forgot. Oh, hey, don't worry. Your boy, yeah. your boy found the old fuzzies. These will change your life. These are game changers. Keep your toes warm. I got the old ducks beanie to keep my head warm. But it's hot. I mean, it's, it's hot in here. It's like that that fire has been ripping for I mean that took us I don't even know like two two hours to cook at least get it all prepped and ready so oh yeah get the old dogs covered up here all right boys this is the final night Let's rest it has been fun I will say I'm looking forward to sleeping in a real bed but we're toughing it out here I would say tough. This isn't too bad. Nice and warm in here. It's a little smoky in here, though. We got to figure out either that wood's wet or I don't understand how I don't get how to do all that stuff. I got no idea. But anyways, we're going to go to sleep. If anything crazy happens, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I plan to get up. I'm going to try for two hours. If I can get two hours of sleep in between log feedings. You saw the thing's ripping hot right now. It's completely filled. So hopefully... I can get a better nice rest tonight than I did last night and uh, get up and chef up some breakfast and sip on some delicious McDonald's coffee. We'll see you guys in the morning. Well, boys, as you can tell, you can see your breath. It got really cold last night, like way colder than the night before. I don't know why. I didn't think it was going to be nearly as bad. I burnt through all that wood at about 4.30. So we spent the last hour and a half, two hours or so with pretty much no fire. And you can see your breath in here. It's freezing in here. It's cold. I, I had to put my vest on. I've been bundled up in here, but I was I was too lazy to get out of the tent and grab a new sack of firewood. 
That's why I asked Jake. I said, do you think you can make it till till morning? It's about six. And he's like, yeah. I mean, inside the sleeping bags, it's not bad. It's when you have to get out of the sleeping bags. That's when it freaking sucks. So I was like, I'm going to throw the last log in and uh, let it burn out. And it's completely out. There's zero fire. There's zero warmth coming from that stove right now. It's freezing in here. So I reckon it's time to get up now. I gotta get the fire going. I gotta get the fire started back up. So I'm gonna go grab some wood from outside, get some boots on. I might have to put my freaking bibs and coat on. It's so cold in this tent. Like, it's amazing. If you don't have fire, how quickly everything just gets cold. So, hopefully the fire starts quickly. I'm cold. <laughs> Dude, I put my bibs on. Really? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Why is it way colder tonight than last night? Dude, I don't know. I swear it's the same temperature. I got literal bibs on. I slipped these suckers on last night. It's so cold. It's dude. not bad in the bag. Yeah, but if you just, once you move. As soon as you move, you're just cold. Alright. Getting out. I will say, my feet were not cold. About the only thing that wasn't cold last night. Good news. Hmm. It's not much colder outside than it is. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it's not that bad out here now that it's cold in here. Alright. Oh. Let's see if I can go three for three. Yeah, one match. I didn't get any uh, grass, so I might not. Come on, buddy. Something's got to catch here. They caught. Yes, come on. Oh, yeah. I think your boy mastered the fire after two days. It is so very cold in here. Oh, I forgot about our meat. That's definitely frozen. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot right. about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to thaw out our deer heart. <laughs> yes. It's completely frozen. All right, I'll set you right here. All right, boys. Well, I'm going to get some water boiling, get some nice coffee, and get the pan hot, sear up some deer heart, and make some tacos. Stay tuned.
Ooh, look at them tacos, boys. Deer Heart Tacos and a fresh, piping hot cup of Mick Cafe coffee. So this is breakfast of champions, boys. And honestly, this little stovetop worked good for tacos. Heat your tortilla up, you put it in tin foil, you keep it warm. We seared the deer heart. You can see what it looks like. I mean, it just, it's just meat. Got some cheese in there, some salsa. All right, here we go, boys. Mm. Oh my God. Dude. I'd eat that over the steak we had last night. Really? Dude. That is phenomenal. Probably, probably the reason why is because it's not just meat. The tortilla and salsa. After you've gone like two days with like, I wouldn't say mediocre food, but not like, bam, flavor. Like that salsa is the most flavorful thing I've ever had. Mmm. That is so freaking good. Your mind's gonna be blown right now. Really? Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, that salsa. Then it just yeah, it overwhelms your taste buds. Cause we didn't taste nothing like we that in two days. Anything like, with, yeah, with, like with that real flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. That's very good. Like. That heart. Sur right. Survival or not, that yeah. heart is really, really good. Yeah, I'd make these. I mean, fun. that is freaking. Mm. Ooh. That's it. Deal. Deer heart tacos. Wow. That is incredible. Mm. Oh my gosh. If I got warm in here, it is smoky in here, so maybe you professional campers could tell us. I mean, our dampener's open. Like the little flapper inside there is open. Everything's shut here. The little spinning wheel's open, so it should be drafting it out. But we looked outside in the chimney. It's smoking, but nothing like crazy. But it's really smoky in here. Like you can see. We got a fog going on. Yeah. So you guys will help us there. And uh, I don't know. I got to do some research as to why. Why it's so smoky in here. Because it's not all that comfortable. My eyes are, my eyes are on fire. Oh, God, yeah. Mm. McCafe, you got, you, got, you got something figured out over there, I'll tell you what. Oh. What a way to end it. Breakfast of Champions. We ended on a high note. We did. It, like At least we didn't like starve the last like 36 hours, and it was just like, wow, this was a grind. Like, we, I think we thrived. You have a scale of like surviving and thriving, mm -hmm. you know? I think this trip was a thrive. I mean, we shot two squirrels. We trapped a raccoon. We trapped a possum, didn't eat him, and shot a deer in the last 48 hours. We, I think we only skipped like, what do you think, like two meals, you breakfast know, between bre really? like breakfast. Yeah. Skipped skip breakfast yesterday, so that's one. The day we got here, we kind of, we pretty much skipped lunch. We had one meal. Yeah, we had dinner. So two. And we had raccoon for lunch and deer for dinner. We, we missed two meals out of... It'd be yeah. out of five because we weren't here for breakfast. Yeah, we got here. In the we got here like morning. like late morning. I'd call it like a brunch. So out of six meals, we missed two, while we brought no food here, none, just straight survival instincts. All right, that makes it sound like we know more than we actually do. We just know how to hunt squirrels and shoot deer and trap raccoons. But given the fact that if Jake and I got dropped off in the woods with a bunch of pews, coincidentally at my ranch, your boy would not die. Overall, I think it was a success. So we're going to get packed up, and we're going to head out here as the sun gets up so we can get back home. And uh, But if you guys want to see more of these, you guys will have to let us know. I mean, I think they're enjoyable. Besides the smoke, we got to figure out the smoke. Um, other than that, it wasn't really – and i got to get better at splitting wood. That's for dang sure. So let's get packed up.
Shoo! Well, there you have it, folks. We made it back. We got a the ATV loaded up. We got a nice deer in the back, full freezers, full belly, and uh, it was fun. I had a good time. I mean, it was definitely definitely a grind, uh, but we made it happen. Like I said, we only missed a couple meals, and uh, we were able to get multiple species with multiple methods between trapping, shotgun, rifle. I mean, I think we hit the nail on the head when it came to how to properly survive in the woods for 48 hours. Like I said, at my ranch, it's convenient at my ranch. The ranch obviously produces some great game, but I think it was still a challenge in order to uh, in to make sure we had consistent food. And of course, once we shot the deer, game over. Because obviously you can just, you can nibble on that for a month. Uh, but if you guys like this video, let us know in the comment section down below. If you want us to do this again, let us know and let us know some other twists, right? Like we had kind of a dual survival theme going on this one. We had two ATVs. Um, you know, maybe we do this again, whether it's for 24, 48 or 72 hours and we do it during a, a blizzard, like a snowstorm or like when it's super cold. You have to let us know. What do you want to see if we come back out here? How do you want us to do these kind of survival hot tent videos? Because I personally enjoy them, especially in the winter. Uh, you know, there's not a ton to do besides run around the woods and hunt which I absolutely love but I think it's more of a challenge rather than just going out there and shooting a deer uh, to do it in under these circumstances which is you literally didn't pack any food uh, to survive out here for 48 hours and you had to go out there for, and provide so let us know in the comment section down below what you guys think if you guys want to see it again and we will catch you on the next one peace